Well, hello YouTube. I am here today with the honor and pleasure of being the first recipient of Bosnian Bill's box of locks to travel that travels around the United States. I think there's another one too. I don't know who's getting it. So I'm going to open it up and I may or may not pick something from it, but we'll see. This time, I'm not going to sit it on my lap, but I'm going to have it here on the table so that Actually, you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. So this came in the mail this morning, and uh, it's ahead of schedule, I think. Um, so plus one to the post office. So let's just make sure we've got a good view, good focus, excellent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the box on the floor. I'm going to pull stuff out. So there's a box within a box. Okay. It even has my name on it. So, let's see what we got in here. This is uh, packaged very securely. Uh, so securely, I'm not even sure I know how to get it open. All right, the best part watching the guy open the box. Okay, wow, holy crap, dude. All right, get on frame here. Let me move this down so we can see a little bit better. Get the box out of the way. So, I mean, you just need to see. I mean, look at this thing. It's like, I can't even tell you how many. There's probably two dozen locks in there. I'd get the scale up, but I can tell you it's more than 10 pounds, and that's the capacity of the scale. So, we'll come over here. Let's see what we got in here. So, we have a, whoa, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, one of the newer master locks, the key. Have a, uh, a Craftsman lock, which looks suspiciously like an Elko. Bring this in even more. Got the wide angle on here, so. Um, there we go. Have a, a firm lock, which looks suspiciously Chinese, but I don't know. You never know. Made in China, sure enough. Okay, bad locks. Aha, American lock. Uh, series 7260. So this is a, this is a, um, there we go. This is a, um, an ace type lock. There you go. Great view of that. No key for that one. We'll see about that. Okay. A public storage lock. Um, made in Germany. So that's probably an Abus there. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And it doesn't have a combination. Hmm. That could make it more difficult. This is an SNG. Which model is this? This is an 8088. Um, this is one of their um, combination padlocks. I think there's an 8087 or 8077 as well. This is government issue, or was. You can see the US on it. Um, I don't know if this is the actual government version or the civilian version. We have a. Uh, what the hell is this? A Yale. Made in the United States. Nice spring action on that. We have a quick set. Well, screw this. Bill, quick set? Really? Maybe it's pinned strangely. No, it doesn't feel strange. Quick set lock. 
Okay, this takes more than 30 seconds, so I'm gonna feel like a complete boob. He says as he takes more than 30 seconds to open it. There it is. <sighs> All right, well that one's down. Put a little, just a little mark on it so I don't do it again. So, quick set lock open, excellent. So, I recommend you start with that one if you're a newbie. There's another quick set lock. This one is brass, shinier. Um, looks like it came from a, uh, a deadbolt um, type of system. So, let's see if, uh, oop, almost had it. I'm just uh, fogatoying these open. Probably get that thing in too deep. Ooh. Okay, this one's putting up more of a fight. I was joking with Bill that uh, he probably, well, we'll do that later. He probably got credit from his wife for getting rid of locks. I don't want to run over time here. All right, a beautiful Yale. This is an older one. Um, Eaton, it says on it. GG, no idea what that means. And, uh, wow. Looks like it has a 22223. Two, two, yeah. Look at, look, at the, look at the bidding on that thing. That's going to be fun. I'm not even sure. Wow. I think it has a direct code on it as well. All right. We have um, one of these little master combination locks. These are fun. Oh, and it's open, which is good. You can set your own combination. We have a completely anonymous looking. Um, uh, rim mortise cylinder. We have the Brinks combination high security safe uh, or uh, lock box or the Coffer Garde Clay if you're French and I'm not going to try to pronounce the Spanish. So we saw Bill bypass that one. Uh, and a best padlock with no control key but with an operating key very nice shiny it's a removable cylinder that's cool because you can pick it to control it or to um, open we have an inbox Hermex Hermex uh, um, this is a disc detainer lock this looks like it might actually be respectable. Where is this made? Um, made in China. All right. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to open it the bill way or maybe the a nicer way. But it does claim to be a medium security um, lock. We have a, um, a Waterbury lock with a chain but no... Um, U.S. set, but no um, no key on that one, and a cute little bag that says Citadel, Citadel on it, inside of which there is a, oh, I've seen one of these, I think I destroyed one of these once, it's a uh, an ACE type motorcycle security device, so if I remember correctly, you you stick this in and, uh, well, I don't know what you do actually. There we go. It opens up like that. So I think you put that through your rotor or something on your motorcycle and it keeps people from stealing it. So we'll see how effective the security of that thing is um, there. So that should be fun. I'm going to put it back in its little case because it's kind of cute. All right. Well. I don't know how much time I've got, but um, why don't I try to pick something else here? Maybe something non-trivial. And we'll see if the camera times out. 
Um, so my suspicion was that this guy here was an ABUS padlock. So I'm going to lock it up. The keyway is pretty tight in there. You can see it's uh, and it's got a little sort of guard thing on it. That's not going to work. Um, so. That's not going to work. And that might work. Nope. Nope, don't like that. I really don't want to have to come from the bottom on this one. I'm desperately trying to find something that will take the top, but there's just no, there's nothing to grab onto. So we're going to have to go bottom of the keyway on this, despite the lack of room. I'm going to guess there's at least about 300 spools in here based on the floppiness. Um, and now, we'll see. We still running? Yes. We'll see what we got in here. So, good God, man. I need a thinner pick. Um, let's go with this one, which hasn't broken yet. All right. So we're looking for a false set with any luck. Get in there, baby. Now, my problem is going to be that if there's a very low cut pin that I may not have enough room to get under it because of the ooh, um, very restrictive keyway we have here. I can't remember if Bill picked this one on camera or not. Am I still rolling? Yep. 